Hello everybody, how are you? If you watched my live, you'll know that um, I set up, or I started to set up for May, and then realised that I, while doing it, I actually flipped the book, so all of my sketches <laughs> for, for drawing out my templates were in the back. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a bit of a dick like that. So, um, I left it and said I would do the video independently. So this is what we had. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says May in holographic print up the side, which I, I quite like. There's a little black spaceship with fire, there's a little UFO, and there's a planet and some stars and a couple of galaxies. And, you know, I had a bit of fun. I used gelatos and, you know, I've never done anything like this before. This book is Tomoe River Paper. I've never used Tomoe River Paper, so I'm kind of jumping in. And basically, I get to test it for a whole month. Um, it's 50, 50 something GSM, I think. I don't know. I did review it, I think, in a video. I'll find it and link it. So anyway, I have never used it in a planner. I've never used a Hobonichi. I have never used anything like that. So. I really, I've got no idea how this is going to hold up, alright? So basically, I get a month review on Tom Ray River Paper. I understand you can get thicker Tom Ray River Paper, but I couldn't. I could only get this. This is all that was available on, I think I got it on Amazon. Uh, but anyway, so, let's get going. This is my tracker. Somebody asked me how I draw it. Okay, I sketch it out first. I always, always, always do it in pencil first. Okay, I actually have a little set of written notes here so that I can tell you. <laughs> so, I have a square in the middle and a square around the outside. Okay, now I know that I need to come in one square from the top and the bottom to get decent sort of size, okay? So I come in one square from the top and one square from the bottom. Then I divide, I've, I've drawn it in a pencil, you can't see it, but there's like a dot there to tell me where the outside of the corner of my outside square is, and a dot there to tell me where the corner of my inside square is. I then join up the corners, okay? Because they are easy. If you've done it right, they will follow on the lines. Now I track um, 11 things, I think it is. Is that including the date or not? Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I track 11 things and I also have a box for the date around the outside just because it makes it easier for me. So my inside square is 13 squares from the bottom of the page and from the top of this page. So you count 13 squares, draw your line, 13 squares, draw your line. Okay, my inside square is 10 squares wide. I do not count the gap in the middle. So you've got one, two, three, four, five squares there, and one, two, three, four, five squares there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then I count from the inside square, I count 12 out to get to my outside square. I'm really hoping I'm explaining this, I'm probably not. Okay, so five squares from the middle is the edge of your inside box, yeah? Then another 13 squares, this is if you're tracking, uh, 12 squares is if you're tracking 11 things and you want another box for your date. So if you need 12 rows, okay? You want more than that, I would have to redraw it and recalculate it. This is to do 12 things, although I do 11 plus a date. So you go, five squares will do your inside and then another 12 squares to do your outside. I don't draw those lines yet because I've got little niches on there to tell me when to draw. Now, to get equal lines, which are these lines, now your corner, that it should run on the dots if you've done it right, okay? 
this is going on the basis that your um, that your books are. I've got a template here somewhere, and I don't know what I've done with it. I think it's something like twenty-eight by thirty-six. I put it away. This is going on the basis that you have twenty-six wide, twenty-six boxes wide and I think it's 38 deep yeah so going on the basis that you're 26 that way and 38 that way okay this is how I draw it so then what you do is you need to divide it up I do nine columns this way nine columns that way all right so the outside square is every I go every four squares, nice and easy, okay? Because 38, take away two is 36, divided it up by nine, and it, it works out that, yeah, it's every four squares. Trust me, I've measured it a gazillion times. The inside square is about every one and one third squares. So you kind of have to eyeball it, all right? So you line up your ruler and then just draw your line. It's as simple as that, really. When your pen works, like so. But always, always draw it out in pencil and I count a gazillion times over. But I draw um, these lines first because then it's easy to see my pencil marks. <laughs> and even I still make mistakes. Repeat that on the other side, okay? So this is, this is your side, repeat it on the other side. So you have what looks like a fantastic weird starburst type thing. Okay, now we need to do the bottom. The outside, instead of being every four, is now every four and a quarter. Okay, the inside is still every one and a third. So it's it's you know you you kind of are eyeballing it because it's very very hard to get that exactly. But I just put a little niche in where I think it might be right and then go for it. Now, the way I personally do it is that I use that middle bit, okay? So you do have an extra day there, all right? So you've got nine there, nine there, nine there, which obviously takes you up to 27. Then I use this side to write what my chores are. I just divide this up depending on how many days in the month there are, whether there's 28, 29, 30, 31. So there's 31 days in May. I believe, yes, am I right? January, February, March, April, March. yeah, 31 days in May. So I need four. So I did the same deal across here. one and a quarter on the outside and one on one third on the inside although I wasn't quite as exact right so that's your columns now all you've got to do is draw all your other lines in don't forget when you're doing it you do not go beyond your diagonal your last diagonal lines otherwise you'll be cutting into the next week so watch so we're going to start off by doing the inside box which takes you from there to there okay then you come out to the next set of dots and again work from line to line so as you can see I'm making sure I do not go over this diagonal line here because that's my corner to make my box I might do it 
on like a smaller scale next month. But then I figure, well, what the hell? It looks pretty at the end of the month, doesn't it? <laughs> I've run out of ruler. So, you just keep going in the same way, right up until the last outside edge. Now, the other way to find out if you have actually done this correctly is that when you draw your horizontal lines, they should meet up with your vertical lines. So if you watch, this is following the dot grid in your notebook now. Okay. If you've done it right, every single line will meet up. Oh, and believe you me, I've, it's taken me four or five months to get this right. Because I've put, you know, too many lines in, in on one side and had it wonky and oh yeah. There you go. So as long as it meets exactly at the corner, you know you've done it right. All right. And you just keep going all the way around. If you're finding it hard to judge where your lines sort of stop because obviously your pen's covering the dot grid, Use the rest of your page. Line your ruler up with the dots that you're not using. Okay. There you go. And that is what you should end up with. Now, I'm going to need to draw lines across that middle bit because this is going to be my extra set of boxes because I've got nine 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, if this was a 30 day month, I wouldn't bother, but I am going to use that as my um, divide bit. Okay. Now, what you do is you write your dates around the outside. And then, what you do is you write your chores in there as to, uh, you know, in line with each box, right? So you can, if you want, join up that box to make it a little bit easier. Hopefully you can see the dot grids. So you write on that line, your drawers, just go up on each line and it will line up with your columns and this side. I write my chores in back in order that they should get done during the day. So the last thing that goes on here is like my night face cream and um, my hand treatment. Okay, and the first thing up the top here is my day face cream because that's the first thing I tend to ch check off for the day. All right, it's just a little hint, you might find that easier. I hope you found that helpful. <laughs> get it to go straight there that's really starting to fuck me off oh my god and um, I'm OCD enough that that will piss me off oh and now it's ripped the fucking book because I'm not right <laughs> getting annoyed with this god well she is cheap Clever here. 
she says. <laughs> hey, Ra. Well. Ah, that almost worked. All right. Oh, that went down wonky as hell. Look at that. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Get it, regret doing washy now. <laughs> okay. Cheap ass, pound land, fucking washi tape. I may stop in a minute because I'm starting to get really fucking annoyed now. Yeah, let's do it again. Right, fine. We will use a different one. Bollocks to it. Life is too short to be fart arsing around with crap fucking washi tape. Okay, the paper is not holding up too well to repeated removal and sticky of washi. And yeah, I heard um, the paper was supposed to be great for that. Which means either I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> we all lied. I will say, I'm a little bit worried about using washi in here now because it seems to want to pull the paper off. Calendar, weather, tracker. Just making short drives. I'm really worried about like turning the page and having it smudge or something. Okay, so it's brailled through, but I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, but then that's, it's, you know, it's a gel pen, so I expected a little bit of braille. Okay, uh, this is the card of the day. <laughs> Hi YouTube! Are you doing another video? I am doing another video, yes. I can do it for YouTube. I'm gonna do some more journaling later.
<laughs> hmm. Not sure what happened there. No, what? I've started on the wrong freaking day. I knew I would. I knew I would do something wrong. There was me hoping to get through the whole setup without screwing it up. And I, for some reason, thought that May started on a Monday. That's because March and April both started on a freaking Monday. But it doesn't. It starts on a Wednesday. That's why there's more blocks on a Wednesday. Sam, you stupid. Ah! <sighs> and Whiteout is really gonna show. Because Whiteout is white and Tom Array paper isn't. Okay, what a palaver, I've been at this for flipping hours. <sighs> I should read a calendar more often. So, here we go. Anyway, let's do a quick flip through. So, the cover, as you know, I did in the live. And then I got the idea that I was just going to stick this down just to make it look good, because, you know, space and all that lot. Regular, simple calendar. I don't like my calendar to be chocker. Um, I may do a little bit of um, decoration like this on it, but not. it will just be a little bit of colour, not an awful lot. Uh, this is for my weather, and again, I won't decorate that a lot. Uh, it's my tracker. Uh, this is my card of the day. Um, as you know, I pull a tarot. I try to pull a tarot card every day. I don't. I, I rarely do pull one every day, but that's the whole idea. My about me page this is where I weigh myself, I measure myself, and then cry because you know talking. I haven't. Shush, please, I'm talking. You're gonna say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. He's grumping because he's not getting what he wants. Uh, my mood and my pain trackers. I want to show you chocolate. No, they don't need to see my chocolate milkshake, thank you. Uh, oh, my sleep tracker you and my steps tracker. And then my chores tracker, which <coughs> I screwed the dates up on this <coughs> a gazillion times. and. <coughs> White out is so crappy because it goes down so <coughs> crumbly and powdery. And I got a cough. You've got a cough. And if I'd just covered it with this, it would have probably shone through. I just want to show So, uh, first impressions now that I've done a little bit in here of this paper rather than <laughs> just doing a quick um, doohickey. Now, yeah, you can see that. Okay, you probably can on my camera. I know I, I can see it looking at the screen here. Does it bother me? No, it's no worse than my Leuchtturm was. 
to be perfectly honest. Um, Daryl, I'm talking, please. I'm talking, please. Could you please be quiet for a minute? No, not right now, because I'm talking. You can just wait a moment. Go on, go on about outside and I'll be out in two minutes. Um, once it's all filled in, it might go through a little bit more, but you know what? It really doesn't bother me. I'm interested to see Thank you. how this paper copes with everything that I want to throw Thank at it. You. I want to throw paint at it, I want to put stickers in it, I want to do a little bit more in the way of can art I journaling. Put in can you put you? stickers in my journal? I expect so. I expect we can do that. Can I do hearts? Can you do hearts? What, that one? My heart's washi tape. I love to do it. You love to do that. Look, I've already put it in here. Look, there it is. Let's put some more. We'll, I'll tell you what, we'll do that when we do the weeklies, okay? We'll let's, do... Let's do stars. Yeah, we will. So I'm going to use the same washi. Let's um, do sunny one. Okay. Can I hold it? You can hold my stars, okay? My hearts. Are oh, you on that one? You can hold it while I'm talking. I love it. Good. Um, I'm going to use the same washi um, in the weeklies as well, just to sort of bring it all together a little bit. And I might decorate them a little bit as well. Um, Let's draw in that one. Time I learn to draw some planets and some constellations, I think, for my weeklies for the next month or so. Let's do it um, I will be throwing fountain pen at this as well. I'll be also putting some sprocket photos in here um, because summer's coming. Daryl's going back to school. Don't peel that, please. And I want to get out and about and get some photos done. So, yeah. So far, so good. I like it. I'm quite impressed with it. I mean, it's so thin. Excuse me. Compared to... Excuse me a minute. This is a book of... Um, what's this? 80 GSM navigator paper. And it's got the same amount of sheets in it. Okay. And it's so, so much thinner, which... You know, I'm not bothered by a thick journal. In fact, I like a nice, thick, chunky journal. Should but look at that. Look at that. I'm so impressed. I can't wait oh, to yeah. see. Shh, I can't wait to see how this performs. So, I will do a flip through at the end of this month at some point, at the end of May, some point, to show you. But, excuse me. Excuse you. Excuse me. Mummy had a yawny. But I will be filming today my bujo throughout May. So if you're interested in seeing how it performs, do come along and watch me. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching. Yeah. What do we say? Put your thumbs up, put and, thumbs up. And, put, and click that bell. Yeah, if you click the book, you'll be subscribed. Right. And if you click the bell, you'll be notified, YouTube willing, when I upload new content. What do we like? Comments. We like comments. We love comments here on our channel, and the more comments, the better. It's better for my channel. Um, and hey, do you know what? I like talking to you guys. So me too. Yeah, we do. We love it. And um, you know, every comment gets a response, whether it's just a like yep. or a love or an actual written reply. You all get read. And that's, that's why I respond to them to show you the show Bye. you why I've read it. And apparently. That's it for today and it's time for me to go now. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Take me it easy too. guys. Bye. Bye.